Hey, I'm Ken Farmer, and we're in the John Marshall House, and I'm here with Ron Hurst, and Ron and I are on the Board of Preservation Virginia, and we're talking about some of the really cool objects that are here in the Marshall House, and I really want Ron to tell y'all about this piece of glassware. Well, Ken, this is a form that was known in the 18th and early 19th centuries as a sweetmeat stand. Sweetmeats being preserved candy, fruit, flowers, and uh, other confections that were served at dessert after the main course was finished. If you had an object like this, you were living in a fairly elegant household, and you can imagine what something like this looked like by candlelight with all that cut glass. There are references to sweetmeat stands in many, many Virginia probate records. Washington, Jefferson, the Royal Governor's household. This is the only one that we know of that survives with its history intact. And it's been associated with John and Polly Marshall since it was first made, probably in the British Isles, about 1780 or so. I've seen pieces like this with restoration where the glue turns sort of a yellowy color and I've actually seen them with scotch tape on them. So this is a greatly improved version of that. And one of the only ones uh, that, that can directly be tied to one of our founding fathers. Absolutely, the once common form and a, another nice illustration of the fact that uh, Preservation Virginia's care of the Marshall House and its contents has made it possible for things like this to survive so that people can come and see them here today in their original context. Yes, they can stand right in the dining room door and look over here and see it. Absolutely. And we hope they come to visit. Everyone should come to see the Marshall House. It's a true treasure of the Commonwealth. Thank you.